Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I have for you guys the LSAT light machine gun from Call of Duty Ghosts. So, without further ado, let's check out this awesome creation. So, the LSAT, this thing is absolutely massive, and it's featured in Call of Duty Ghosts with a hundred rounds in a box magazine. It's just like um, some of the other light machine guns, it's belt fed, so it has a long load time but it's worth it this thing has a pretty good fire rate um and honestly i prefer using this over the chainsaw or the emily i like this just because of its fast fire rate and its decent accuracy at a foregrip and a silencer those are my two favorite attachments and this thing becomes basically an m27 ir so, um, that just happened. Anyways, let's get on to some of the details. So, it's got the fire selector. It's got a printed brick from actually the Millennium Falcon set. Well, one of the mini ones. It looks really cool. Um, a lot of these, uh, slope bricks on the side. Same with here. And on the back, you've got the stock that doesn't move, but it's nice. It's a heavy butt stock that... It's really nice for aiming, and it's stable enough to support the entire gun. The handle, a new design. Tried it out. It works really nicely. It's sturdy as well. Same with trigger guard and trigger. Um, you've got the feeding system place. You've got the little cover. And the belt just goes through here. So, yeah, I'll show you guys that in a moment. The grip with the gray inner part and the black edges I guess the barrel with all the gas vents and then of course you got the muzzle and the sights which I'll show you and it's just a nice weapon overall and I love using now, it. Now to load this thing you're gonna start with the tread. You just gotta roll it up like this. So you have this little pocket thing you put to the side you take the box and the lid pops off and just put this in. Shake it around a bit so it smooths out. Take the lid, you put it back on, and you're basically all set. And to put it in the gun, put this to the side again. Um you just lift this up. You take the box magazine, which is pretty hard to put on. It's actually really hard to use, especially when I'm carrying it. I prefer doing it on the ground, but yeah, you connect it to the bottom, and then you just take the tread, you pull it through here, close it, and you're ready to fire. But of course, in Call of Duty, it's a lot faster because those dudes are like commando expert dudes. And the handle is sturdy enough to hold the gun, which I'm going to say this is the same weight as my minigun, actually. So this thing's a massive creation, but it was all worth it in the end. Here's a look down the iron sights. As you can see, it's got the ring in the back and sort of the triangle with a ring on the top in the front. And I think it did a pretty decent job. It's probably not the best. Someone probably will do better than this, but it's the best I've got. And it still resembles the LSAT sights. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's that red piece in the bottom there. Sort of mimicking that line. In the in-game model, you got the side protector thingies. And it's just a nice weapon. Now, the bipod on this LSAT is probably the best bipod I've made. It's sturdy, it works, and it just looks cool, I guess. It's definitely... Not the most prettiest, but it gets the job well done. So you got the little stands in the bottom. If I could show it, there you go. They move, adjusting to the ground. 
so you can have your gun tilted or whatever. Same with the other side. You got this little center thing to keep it from. So basically, if I don't have it, it it'll like expand way too much and your gun will fall flat. And of course, it's got the wheel here to prevent it from closing too much. And if you guys want instructions, be sure to leave a like and comment that you want the instructions for this. And this thing just attaches to the bottom of the LSAT right underneath the barrel. Um, it doesn't really obstruct the area for you to hold. So, yeah, here it is. It's pretty nice looking. And honestly, I guess you can use this as a foregrip. But it's kind of hard to use. But, that's basically it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Crap. And I will see you guys next time.